Hi everyone, back here for another video. iPad OS 16 is out and since Apple changed their mind, now I can use Stage Manager in my 2020 iPad Pro. Also, I've been using the Samsung Tab S8 for a couple of months now and as we know, Android has multitasking features way before iPads. So in this video, I will compare how different or similar are the multitasking capabilities between these two tablets. Let's see the normal multitasking and also the new generation type of multitasking, which is Stage Manager on the iPad and Samsung DeX on the Tab S8. Plus, let's see if my favorite keyboard shortcuts can be used. I will be quite detailed in this video, so feel free to check out the timestamps to move around the different topics. So let's start with the well-known multitasking on the iPad. When I open an app, I see the three dots on the top. I press it and I will see the different options. Selecting split view will put the current app on the left. And then I can open another app, whether from the dock or from the app library, or even from spotlight search. The other option is slide over. If I choose this, the current app will slide to the right. Then, same as split view, I can open another app from the dock, the app library, or from spotlight search. Resizing the windows is only possible when in split view. In slide over, apps cannot be resized. It can, however, be moved to be a split screen. I can also move the slide over apps to the left side or back to the right by dragging the top of the app. And I can also have multiple apps in slide over and to switch around is by swiping the bottom bar here. And finally, I can hide the slide over by swiping the top to the right or to the left, whatever side it is on. And to make it appear again, I can swipe from the sides or by tapping this arrow indicator on the either side of the iPad. Another way I can put apps in split screen or slide over is from the app switcher. So swipe up to go to app switcher, then to make a split screen, drag an app towards another, and then this will group the apps. Tap on it and now it's in split screen. Going back to the app switcher, I can make an app as a slide over also by dragging it onto the right side. Dragging it to the right will have this animation showing it that it's resizing into a long rectangular shape and then when I release it, now it's in slide over. Lastly, if I want to go back to full screen, I can either press on the three dots on the top and select, yes, you guessed it, full screen. Or I can simply swipe away the other app from this middle bar if I am on split screen. Now on the Samsung Tab S8. I can make a split screen by opening an app from the side or edge panel and dragging it in place. Or I can also choose an app from the taskbar by pressing at the bottom edge and then drag an app in place. Just a note that this should be turned on in the display settings. So for the side panel, it is actually the edge panel and for the taskbar, I chose mine to show and hide with the touch and hold. So if I want to show and hide a taskbar, I press and hold at the bottom of the screen. Aside from dragging an app from the taskbar, I can also choose an app from the app drawer by tapping this keypad looking icon here on the left side. Unlike the iPad, I can put the second app at the bottom of the split screen, but this is not so ideal in landscape mode, so better use this in portrait mode. Also, unlike the iPad, I can add a third app. And still unlike the iPad, I can resize the apps to whatever size I like. Speaking of resizing, I can open a fourth app, kind of like a slide over, but not really. And then I can resize it to whatever size I want, and I can move it anywhere. What's also cool with the Tab S8, if I want apps to be paired all the time, I can press the three dots here in the middle, then press this star icon, and I can save this then either on the taskbar, home screen, edge panel, ready to be used whenever I need it. Now moving on to the new generation multitasking. When opening a new window, it defaults in full screen, 
it's the same in Stage Manager and Dex. All apps open in full display. For Stage Manager, if I have only one app open, I cannot move it and it stays in the middle. Even if I resize it, it stays in the middle. But in Dex, I can resize it and then put this single app anywhere on the screen. To open other apps is pretty simple. I can choose an app from the taskbar of the Tab S8 or dock of the iPad. Or from the app library on both tablets. Now it gets interesting when using multiple apps in Stage Manager. If I have only one app open and I open an app from the dock or from Spotlight Search or from the app library, I cannot make it open in the same area or stage as what Apple calls it. And I say this because even if I resize the app, I don't see the other app. I have to use the three dots here on the top and choose add another window. And then it will put this two or three or four apps in one stage. Unlike Dex, I just opened the apps and it's all there in one place. Nothing really much to say here as it works like desktops, what most of us are already familiar with. Next strange thing in Stage Manager, if I only have two apps and both are in different sizes, I cannot move it anywhere I want. Fine, maybe Apple assumed that if I'm working on two apps, I should want to see both of it, right? But if I have one app in full screen, then the second app somehow can be moved more freely. Another but is when I open the third and fourth app, now I kind of have more areas I can move the apps on, especially when the app is in the smallest size. And when I try to open the fifth app, it will not work as it's only limited to four apps per stage. It will put one of the four apps out on a separate stage and I can't figure out how it decides which one it will kick out. Compared to Dex, I can open as many windows as I want. I can also drag the windows to the side and it will guide me to open it in split view. Then I can choose the app on the other side. This is very similar to Windows PC's multitasking. Then I can drag the corners or the sides to resize it. I can resize the apps in different sizes and drag it in any area of the screen. It's not limiting me on specific areas like what happens on Stage Manager. If you've been here on my channel, you know I'm big on using keyboard shortcuts. For my initial tests, it's kind of opposite between these two tablets and let me explain why. Keyboard shortcuts work very well for the iPad that is basically using the globe key where globe plus control and arrow left and right is for split view while globe plus option plus arrow left and right is for slide over. Globe plus F is for full screen or command and tab is to switch apps. Check out the links in the description box because I've made many videos already for keyboard shortcuts using different keyboards for standard multitasking on the iPad. I don't have any videos yet for keyboard shortcuts for the Samsung Tab S8, but that may be coming soon. That is if I discover more. Right now, this is what I know. Start plus the close or open bracket is to do split screen. Other shortcuts are listed when you do start plus the slash. On Dex mode, there are the keyboard shortcuts to do multitasking, mainly using the start key. To enter and exit Dex mode, do start and W. To maximize or minimize a window, use start and then the arrow up or down. To put a window to the left side, do start and the left arrow key. To put it on the right, do the opposite, start and the right arrow key. To show the desktop dashboard, do Start and Tab. To switch open app, do Alt and Tab. To show all apps like a finder, press the Start key. For Stage Manager, there are a few keyboard shortcuts such as the globe and the tilde to switch apps. 
and to switch stages you use the globe plus the arrow left or right keys and globe and arrow up is to show the app switcher globe and f is to change a window to full screen globe and m is to close a window but for resizing the apps mouse or trackpad or using the touchscreen is definitely needed so in conclusion I love my iPad, but I will give it to the Samsung Tab S8 for the multitasking on Dex mode. Though the software of the Tab S8 is definitely not as smooth as the iPad, the multitasking functionalities just make sense. The standard multitasking on the iPad works. It may look like it's not enough if compared to the Samsung Tab S8 or Android, but then this is very subjective and whatever suits your workflow, then use that one. I will still pick the iPad because I like it, I prefer the UI, but I will not use Stage Manager that much as it's just not so intuitive yet. Hoping for the next software updates to make it better. I will use the Tab S8 on Dex mode if I really want to have a real multitasking experience and if I want to use an external monitor. That's it. Thanks for watching.